Hey guys, Alex here, GuitarForge.com. So in today's video we're going to take a look at a song called Hot Dog by Led Zeppelin. And uh, this was uh, kindly requested and supported by Kevin, so big thanks goes out to him for the support. Uh, this is a very fun song to play, nothing too complicated, although it could be a little bit challenging because it's uh, played at a relatively fast tempo. And also the uh, solo is a little bit tricky, but overall, you know, the, the rest of the parts are not so complicated. Uh, the uh, tabs and the backing track are going to be available at guitarforce.com as a bundle. You can find the link in the description box down below or on my Patreon page. Um, also, I'll try to post a cover on my other channel, the whole kind of playthrough of the song. Uh, if YouTube allows it, uh, you will find the link in the description box down below as well. Um, we're going to be in standard tuning for this song. I was using again the VST plug plugin guitar rig. Uh, I'm going to show you the preset that I was using for this song right now. And while you are checking it out, I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright, so as usual we're going to break up this lesson into parts. We have uh, a few parts here going on. So first of all we start off with the intro, then we have the verses, the chorus, the solo, and then we're back to the verse. And uh, after the solo it's actually the chorus, then another verse, and then we have the outro. So we're going to do it uh, section by section. So we're going to start off with the uh, intro, and uh, first I'm going to play it through, then we're going to come back and break it down. So it goes like this. Alright, so here we have uh, kind of two distinctive riffs going on. And uh, the first one is gonna go like this. Uh, so this is uh, just uh, keep in mind that this is one of the variations how you can play it. Uh, you can substitute the, the open strings with uh, the uh, uh, fifth frets of the uh, lower string, uh, but I uh, I played like this because you know it just sounds a little bit. It, it's easier to play it like that. So anyway, so it starts off with. So here the open G string, for example, you can substitute it with the fifth fret on the D and play it like that. So then we go to the uh, G string. We have so here fourth fret second open. You can substitute the open again with the fifth fret right here on the D string. Then we have D second fret to the open, but again you can play it fifth fret on the A string. And then we have so uh, the last two notes we play them on open strings because uh, you can hear on the record that it's it's kind of like uh, ringing out. Okay, so that's the first part. So slowly one more time, it's gonna go like this. Now alternatively, like I said, you can play it like this. Alright, so it's up to you how you want to play it. For me, it's a little bit easier to play it with the open strings and uh, it's just, you know, a little bit... Uh, uh, you don't have to engage the other uh, fingers as well. So, uh, the second riff, second part of this riff is going to go... So again, um, you have open string G, which you can substitute with a... Here we have uh, on, in the end two uh, D's open strings, and then you add the chord, the kind of like a power chord. So, all 
then we repeat the first part again and then second time again we have now here in the end inst instead of playing two D's open we played the last note the G open string and then we have so here we have a sort of like a chromatic build up um, going into the verse so it's on the low E string open one two and then you go to the third fret that's uh, for the verse all right so that's the intro uh, I'm gonna play it one more time slowly it's gonna go like this all of the intro So now we go into the verse and we have, um, it's like a, an 8 bar blues, uh, which is based basically on of for the G chord, for one bar, then we have C chord, back to G, then we have D, 7, and then again we have G, C, now here for the next uh, bar we have G, D7, so each of the courses is, is played for half a bar, and then we end with the G. So um, we have a specific kind of rhythmical figure going on here, and also a chromatic build up to the next chord. So the first uh, chord that we have, the G, uh, the rhythmical figure is basically just playing, kind of breaking up the chord in, you know, into the bass notes and the rest of the chord. Uh, and uh, then we have the uh, chromatic build-up, so it's gonna go like this ry uh, rhythmically. So we have uh, kind of like, you know, kind of gallop figure going on here uh, in the first part of the of the bar, and then we have. So it's on the A string, we go open, one, two, and then we get to the C chord. So for the C chord, again, we have the rhythmical figure like a gallop. And then we have... So chromatic build up on the low E string. Now open, one, two, and then we get to the G chord. Again, playing the same thing. And then we have... So the second time when we play the G chord, the chromatic buildup is going to be on the A string, going second, third, fourth frets. So, and then we get to the D7 chord. So here for the D7, we play the D string open, and then we just play the chromatic buildup again. So it's two, three, four on the A string, then again the D string open, and then we have another build up, uh, this time on the low E string, so it's open one, two, three, we get to the G chord. Uh, again, kind of repeating the same thing as we did in the beginning, so... So essentially when we play G, C, then again G, and here we play instead of the chord, the rhythmical figure, we just play, so going for the D7 and then again chromatic build up for the G, we play the rhythmical figure and then the whole thing uh, kind of starts again, so with the rhythmical figure we get to the G chord. Alright, so I think it's easy enough to understand, so now I'm gonna just play through all of these eight bars slowly, it's gonna go like this. So 
so that's about it for the verses. It's exactly the same figure going on. By the way, keep in mind that there are two guitars on the uh, studio recording. There are two guitars, so the second guitar is kind of uh, doubling up some of the uh, uh, some of the uh, bass lines uh, or the the chords. So just keep that in mind. Here, I'm just kind of uh, combining the two guitars into one. Um, and uh, you know how, how would you play it? This is how would you play it uh, on just one guitar? All right, so that's for the verses. Then we go to the chorus. Again, I'm just gonna play it through uh, a little bit slower so you can see and and hear what's going on. And then we're gonna break it down. So it's gonna go like this. <laughs> Okay, so here for the chorus, the chords are gonna go like this. We have the D chord for one bar G, for one bar, then again D, G, then we have C, G, and A. Alright, so uh, this part is a little bit more interesting and a little bit more going on. So it starts off with uh, playing the D string open. And then we kind of break up the chord, we play the first and second strings. And then we have the bends on, on the B string. So essentially you're playing the chord, but then we play the bend on the B string. And then we have... So it's a kind of rhythmical figure here uh, on the uh, G and the high E strings. Then again the bend. This is kind of like a passing note, so all together. And then we go to the G chord. We play uh, the G chord uh, three times. Kind of, you know, breaking up the chord. And then we have a quick, just a, a pull off here on the first string. Uh, I'm sorry, on the first fret of the B string. Pulling off to the open. And then picking again the chord. A couple of passing notes here on the G string. So uh, let me just play it through one more time from the start. Slow is going to go like this. Then we're back to the D chord, playing exactly the same thing as we did in the beginning. Then we have the G, but uh, it's played only on the A string and the high E, so it's and it's kind of rhythmical figure again, kind of playing between the strings. So it's so you play A, then high E, then both of the strings together, then just picking the high E a couple of times, uh, two sixteenth notes, and then. Again, alternating the A and the high E, so it's... And uh, I presume uh, Jimmy was using the hybrid picking here. Then we have... So it's a build-up, first fret to the second to the third, into the C chord. Uh, on the C chord we play the rhythmical figure just we did with the verses. Again, chromatic build up on the low E string. Here we play the G chord with the gallop figure again. Here we have two passing notes uh, going to the A chord, so it's third fret to the fourth on the low E string. We go to the A, we pick it a few times. And in the end, we have uh, the chromatic part, second, third, fourth frets on the A string, going to the D, and we have a stop. So that's pretty much it for the chorus. Uh, let me just play it one more time, the whole thing, real slow, is going to go like this. All 
Alright, so that's it for the two main parts, the, the verses and the chorus. The structure is pretty, pretty much uh, the same. I, I'm sure that you can figure it out. So now we're going to go into the solo and we're going to break it up into uh, licks and phrases. So let's start with the first part, it's going to go like this. Okay, so here it uh, sounds like the beginning of uh, the uh, intro up until this note here. So it's. Then we pick it again, slides up to the seventh fret, and then we have. Alright, so I'm not going to be calling out every uh, fret and every string. You can see that in the tablature, but uh, I will make a comment where it's necessary. So that's the first line. Let me do it one more time slowly. Then the next line we have. So it's. We stay on this note, and then we have. Okay, so one more time. Next line we have, next phrase. So here what we do is we go to the 10th fret, we uh, fret both strings, the first and the second string. We hit the, uh, the strings, the double stop, and you bend only the B string. Uh, you bend it up and bring it down. Then we go to the 8th fret on the B string and then again the same bend but it's this time it's a little bit quicker. So this is, uh, um, you know, it, it's kind of played in a, in a country style um, music. So a lot of these licks are, you know, you can hear in the country music. So this is kind of the same thing. Uh, some of the uh, phrases anyway. So, then you pick it again, and then we have sort of like a passing note, and he goes into, into this kind of chord, which is uh, like a G6, uh, dominant 6, uh, dominant 9 chord, and he just kind of, uh, you know, plays off the, on the chord, and then plays the uh, pull-off. Here. So the whole bar is the G chord, but it's, he's kind of breaking it up into, uh, you know, just picking random strings and picks the uh, this uh, the pull off here. Uh, you will hear it and you will see it, see it later on when I play the whole thing how it's put together because now it's just if I play it it's just a bunch of notes which doesn't make any sense rhythmically. But when I play it all together you'll hear how it goes. So it's, you know, something like that. Then he slides out and then we go to the C um, chord and it's, the next phrase is going to go like this. So essentially what we do, we go to the uh, C chord, we play, we break it up into bass notes, then the higher register of the chord, but we're using the ninth, the add ninth here on the 10th fret. And then we just go to a straight C chord, so it's... And then adds this, the seventh here, dominant seven, so it's dominant seven on the uh, B string 11th fret, and then he plays between between high E and the B string, which is fretted on the 11th fret here. And then just picks the other strings and slides out. One more time, whole thing slowly. Okay, like that. Then we go to the G chord. We have the following phrase, which goes like this. Okay, so here we have, uh, it's kind of like a, a sus2 chord, so we don't play the A and the G strings, but we play uh, the rest of the chord. So it's basically two octaves, then we have the fifth, then we add the ninth on the high E string, so it's 
uh, breaking up playing the bass notes rest of the chord and then you play you lift off your pinky and you play um, you know this part of the chord like that and then we have a little lick here so it's a hammer on on the B string third to the fifth fret and you also add the high E on the fifth fret so playing it two times then you leave the notes to ring out and you can pick uh, a couple of additional notes here so like that then we go to the G and we play then the following phrase which goes like this so it's uh, these three notes here then three notes on the high E then back to the B same notes you let this note ring out and then just a slide up to 10th fret so Then the next phrase is going to go like this. All right, so this one is another weird phrase. So it's just a slide, uh, kind of going from the seventh fret to the 10 on the A string. And then you pick the D string on the 12th and slide up to the 14 right away. So it's, it's kind of double slide here. You stay on this note, then you hit the oc the octave. So these two strings, the B and the D, and then you add the double stop on the 15th fret of the high E and the B strings, and then you pick the the D string, pull off on the high E from 17 to 15, and then both of the notes you slide out. So this one is a little bit weird phrase as well. So slowly all together is going to go like this. Something like that. Then we're back to the C and the following phrase we have is going to go like this. So again, kind of what we did earlier on the C breaking up into bass note then we have the add nine uh, but this time we stay on on this a little bit longer it's kind of it has sort of like a triplet feel to it right okay so it's these two notes again in the end and then we have so it's a hammer on picking high E string and picking the rest of the chord like that so all together then we go to G and we have um, again this weird thing so it's gonna go like this so this one again kind of breaking up the the chord into bass note then we have two notes so 5th fret, 3rd fret on a high E string, then we have this sort of, uh, it's, a, it's a part of the dominant 7 chord. And then we have, uh, so it's a hammer on, 3rd fret to the 4th on the G string, and then you pick high E and the B strings. So it's kind of playing, messing around with the G, G7 chord. Like that. And then the next phrase is gonna go like this. So this one is also a weird one in terms of um, rhythm. I'll try to explain it. So we have 6th fret on the G string. So you pick the G and then pick high E on the 3rd fret. So essentially it's like a... Um, it's like going... You know, kind of that that movement of the blues but uh, it's a little bit different so G string going to high E then back to the G then we have 
B string here. So it's and then we have so again we have a uh, hammer on third to the fourth fret on the G string. Then you pick the uh, the B on the fifth fret and then you pick double stop and the D string. So this one is also a little bit weird to play, especially at the fast tempo, uh, but that's how it goes. So let me just play it one more time slowly, it's gonna go like this. And then after that we have... So it's from the 4th fret to the 5th on D string. Hi, I'm sorry, it's B, back to the to the D string. So this whole thing, this uh, lick is very kind of strange. Uh, all of the uh, all of the parts of it. Uh, let me play it one more time. Slow. It's gonna go like this. All right. Then we move on to the G, and uh, we have. Uh, next two bars just a single note lines so the first one is gonna go so that's the first line and uh, just keep in mind that Jimmy is rushing the notes a little bit especially in the beginning uh, so rhythmically they're not you know 16 straight 16th notes all right so uh, yeah it's just straightforward on the D string and then we have one note on the G so one more time Then we go to the next bar, to the C chord, and we have kind of similar thing, so let's go, it goes like this. Alright, so slightly different, different. So it's kind of like sequences. Alright, then we go to the next line, which is going to go like this. So here we start off on the off beat, starts with the bend, then you play on the high E string, these two notes, then we have, so it's bend up, bring down, go to 11, then back to 13, 12 on G. Like that. And then the ending of the solo phrase we have, So here we're playing uh, double stops. So the first one is we fret on the 10th fret both of the high E and the B strings and we play a grace note, uh, meaning quick hammer on onto the uh, 12th fret of the B string, but at the same time fretting the high E. And then we play the bend here on the 10th fret, both of the strings. You are bending only the B string. You bend it up, then you pick it bring it down, then play 8, while at the same time the high E is ringing. So it's and then you have two bends again, and then in the end, so again, bend it up, bring it down. One more time, the whole phrase, slowly. And that's the ending phrase of the uh, of this solo. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play all of the parts, uh, phrases, and uh, licks together back to back, very slowly. It's gonna go like this.
right, so right after the solo, we play the chorus one more time, exact same way as we did earlier. Then we have the next eight bars, pretty much the same as uh, the verses that we did also earlier. And then we have four bars, sort of like an outro, uh, exactly same way, pretty much as the the verses, but uh, with the exception of uh, a, a just uh, one thing. So let me just play it through and then we're going to break it down. So it's going to go like this, the last four bars before the outro. So we have... So the first bar we have G going to D7 and we just play the bass line. And then second bar for the G we have... So right here we have this little movement, so we play the G then we play two sixteenth notes of the rest of the chord and then we have so just this quick uh, movement that uh, goes from the second fret on the A then open to the second on the D and then you add the G chord again, so it's like that and then we have again the chromatic uh, bass line going to the G again repeating same thing to the G and then we just play the G a few times and let it ring out so let me play one more time uh, the whole thing the four bars at the end it's gonna go like this slowly And then for the outro we have exact same riff that we did in the beginning, so it's... Then again... And then in the end we have... So the first part... Exact same thing, and then we just add two chords, the D to G like that. So and that's how we end the song. All right guys, that was it for this lesson. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar lessons. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.